Hello, and welcome to the first tutorial in the Effects series, which is where we're going to go over how to create certain effects in shaders in CryEngine. Um, I'm just going to give a base overview of what we're going to try and achieve. Um, I'm not going to show any previous results because I want us to go through this um, kind of uh, from scratch. So we're going to cover the thought process behind it. Um, and we're going to lay out what we're going to need in terms of our uh, features. So, in I'm in the previous tutorial series, both of them, um, we went through uh, setting up the environment uh, for programming shaders uh, in CryEngine, and then we went through adding texture slots, parameters, and features to shaders. Um, and now we're just going to use all of that information that we already learned and we're going to create a effe uh, an effect. Um, so we're going to create an effect called Slope Blend, which is basically applying a material layer or a texture or something like that um, to the top of an asset or really any side depending on um, what you uh, what you're doing, what you want. Um, I'm going to go from top down, so Z, um, Z axis, but uh, really you can take the same technique and you can apply it in a lot of different ways. So uh, we're just going to start by doing another quick overview of what we need to do and what we need to have open. So the first thing we need to have, um, and, and for this tutorial series I'm going to be working in the Ilum shader first the sake of simplicity. Um, we need the ilum.ext open, the ilum.cfx file open, the commonzpass.cfi open, the fxsampler.defs.cfi open, and the fxconstant.defs. Uh, <coughs> once you have all those open, then we're going to go ahead <coughs> and uh, look through uh, our ilum.cfx file and I'm just going to do another real quick uh, overview. Most of our work isn't going to be done inside of the Ilum shader. This stuff here is, um, between various features, is kind of spread out between the base shader, which is the Ilum.cfx, and the common zpass.cfi, which is where a lot of the work is done. Um, this is basically so that shaders other than the Ilum shader can share this functionality between them. For something like parallax occlusion mapping, for instance, in silhouette parallax occlusion mapping, it's shared among the um, terrain shader and the ilum shader, for instance. Uh, you can work a lot of these features into the base shader, the ilum.cfx file, but that um, I don't really recommend that. I recommend working with within the common zpass. Uh, in a later tutorial series, I will be um, explaining how to clean and create your own base shader with as few lines of code as possible so that you can basically build up your own entirely unique feature set from scratch. <coughs> but for now, uh, this is just what you need to have open and uh, we're going to move on now to what we need and want to achieve. So we know a few things. We know that we want to have a blending layer, so multiple textures. We're going to want a normal map, a height map, and a diffuse. Um, we're going to use the height map to uh, break up the blending on the edges of the the um, vertex color area. Uh, not vertex color area, sorry, uh, the vertex normal calculation for you know the slope of the surface. Um, we're going to want to blend it and we're going to need to combine normal maps together. Uh, so we're going to need a couple of functions for that. Um, we will also need to make sure that we're working as cleanly as possible and in a reusable way. So we're going to be creating functions inside of the common zpass um, for the purposes of this tutorial. However, you would normally create these functions inside of shadelib.cfi. Uh, but I want to keep this to as few files as possible to avoid any confusion on that point. Um, okay, so knowing what we do from the previous tutorials, um, I'm going to stop recording this now and we're going to, in the next tutorial, uh, we're going to go ahead and 
bring in all of the texture slots and parameters that we think we'll need for our initial uh, effect. And that will be a nice review of the previous tutorial series. So I will see you then.